So does NBA player RJ Hampton admit that he put bruises on the mother of his child in shocking new video? NBA G League player RJ Hampton admitted on camera that he left bruises on his ex, Tiffany Jeffcoat, who's the mother of his child. On Monday, Jeffcoat, an influencer who has more than 1.5 million followers on TikTok, shared a video of herself confronting the NBA first round draft pick. She claimed he was trying to take their one-year-old son, Halo, away from her while traveling. I don't care if you got me on recording. I could care less, he added. So that's the picture of RJ Hampton and his son. I do have the video footage because I saw more footage get released on Twitter today. But I just want to give you guys a report about what's going on. RJ literally snatched Halo off the ground, walked out, hopped in the car, and left, she claimed. Didn't tell me where they were going. Didn't take back any of his stuff. He's not allowed to do that. So let's get into the video footage that I have for you guys. And then I'll come back with some more commentary. So let's check out these clips right here. Are you to me because you're... Please. Man, I don't care if you have me on recording. I could care less. I just don't want to... What, I, what I'm afraid of, because of who you are, as me, like, taking him. And then you're like fighting me off of him, and then you're like, oh my god, you abused me. No, I wouldn't do it. First of all, you have laid hands on me before, so. You have. I have pictures of it. I know. And text messages of it. You have pictures of it right here? Yeah, and you text messages. Who's the f gonna care about that? Who's gonna care? There's who's gonna care? Bro, there's, there are bruises of. You know what? I don't even get into that. But like, they came from your hands. Of course they did. Okay. Did, did, I, did, I, did I punch you? Did I slap you? Just because you didn't did punch, punch you, you doesn't mean that's okay. Wow. Halo, come back. Wow. At the end of the day, if you it, like the fact that you can sit here and I'm allow, <laughs> no, because your child has been traveling since five a.m. He's been traveling since five a.m. and you're sitting here oh, making him wander around a hotel. I'm not playing victim. I'm saying my house. no. You went to Miami and you were First gone, of all, and your parents kept it. Yeah, my parents. My mom is more of a parent to him than you have your ever mom been. Is better alive. Shut up. Can you get the hotel? Because I have to be there for no, no, forty-five days. You just went to Miami and were gone. You get the hotel. That's not the document that you signed, sir. So. I'm stranded in Oklahoma with no hotel, no car. RJ literally snatched Halo off the ground walked out hopped in the car and left didn't tell me where they were going didn't tell me when they were back didn't take any of his stuff he's not allowed to do that just traveled got up at 5 a.m took a 13 month old on the plane just had to get off the phone with the police um and i had to describe what my child was wearing my 13 month old was wearing didn't bring didn't make sure he had a pacifier didn't make sure he had his lovey blankets or anything doesn't know what time he last ate doesn't know what time he last slept he's never had him for more than like 30 minutes this just shows how little he cares about his child so now i'm waiting for police to get here it is now 7 26 p.m um i've been sitting in the lobby since 2 p.m and still no room Halo's still not back. Don't know where he is. Um, I hope he ate dinner. I hope... I mean, poor thing's been up since 5 a.m. His bedtime was an hour ago. So... I hope he is back soon because technically his visitation schedule that he does he's supposed to have access to the child um is from eight to eight so i would hope that he does at least abide by that part and bring him back by 8 p.m so another 33 minutes hopefully and i will have my baby back um i genuinely I like really don't even know what to, I've never in my life experienced anything like this and I pray that nobody else has to. So all I have to say is be careful who you have a baby with. Um, yeah, because sharing a child 
that you love with somebody who is literally a horrible person is not for the week. Okay, so that's the video footage, guys. And so far, I've seen 50-50 mixed reactions. I've seen people saying it looks like the mother of his child was trying to antagonize him and set him up, basically, because she even admitted that he didn't put hands on her, but somehow he left a bruise on her from trying to um, get their child out of her hands or something like that. So I think he's going to be safe in that aspect as far as there's nothing they could do about that because she did admit in video that he didn't put his hands on her. But somehow she has bruises. So he did admit to bruising her, but she also admitted that he didn't put hands on her. So I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe it was an accident or something. He tried to grab the child out of her hands and slipped and fell who knows who knows the story behind that so i think he's gonna be okay if she doesn't put out any more footage as far as like video footage of him possibly assaulting her or you know putting out the photos that she claims that she has but i just want to say this man this young man is 23 and he's in a position to take care of his entire family but all of that can get taken away from him right now if the NBA wants to make a statement and kick him out of the league. And then now he's stuck either trying to prove himself to the world or the Internet or to the NBA or any other professional basketball league like overseas or anything like that. Just because of one situation or one person or one thing that happened between him and the mother of his child. This is why these young men, they need to just. Focus on their goals. You know, like he's 23. He got the rest of the world ahead of him. He's already in the 1% made it to the league. He's a first round draft pick. But yet this is my first time hearing about this kid is that this video come out and there's a lot of reactions from it. So, yeah, man, you know, it's just like, yo, you you in a position to really make over. A hundred million dollars or more just from NBA. That's not even counting endorsement deals if he gets really good at basketball. And that's not counting other situations that he can put himself in to make more money, like starting a gaming channel or starting a brand or anything like that, man. You know, the sky's the limit when you have that type of machine behind you. So the fact that he put himself in a situation admitting that, you know, he did put bruises on her, that's just not a good look, even if it was an accident is still just not a good look for the brand of the NBA. And I'm pretty sure the NBA is going to make a statement about this pretty soon because it's picking up. It's picking up on a lot of social media platforms. I saw it on the shade room yesterday and it had like 20,000 comments. And then I saw it today on Twitter with over like 12 million views. And that's the reason why I want to report on it. Cause I'm like, okay, it's starting to pick up. Let me just do a video on it, man. And then give my commentary and, React to it with you guys, man. So I would love for you guys to get in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like more self-talk reports like this. And hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Anyway, y'all guys, peace.